up there youtubers and fellow riders the chemist back here in the garage cooking up another diy for you on uh seat repair um i don't know how many of you have actually done your own seat you know um it's kind of expensive to go out to the shop and you know have them staple up a piece of material over over some foam <laughs> so um something i wanted to share with you um i used to have the the stock the standard um the marine material that came with the seat and i, I chose to take it off for a couple of reasons, I'm going to explain to you why. Um, for one, the stock material, I didn't like it too much because it was, one, it was slicky. Okay, it was, it was, When you gave it some gas and you really gunned it, you tend to slide back on the seat. and um, Or at least I would. I'm only, what, 161 pounds. And, um, you know, you give it gas, you get thrown back, and, and you start sliding off the seat. And I really wasn't a big fan of that. Um, I had a buddy of mine who showed me... Uh, he did this himself, uh, went out and got some of this material, and I think he bought it from, or I got mine from Joanne's Fabric, and it's um, it's actually a spandex material, and it's breathable. The second thing, the second reason why I bought this material is because it is breathable. The other problem I was having is, yeah, you know, it gets hot here, it's 90, 100 degrees here in South Cal, and, um, you know, my ass was getting all sweaty, I could hop off the bike, and my my chonies are stuck to my ass, and I got this big line coming down, you know, from, from riding, you know, and... Yeah, who wants that, you know? So I was searching for a material that's going to be breathable and keep my ass planted to the seat. And this is what my friend had recommended. This is a material, like I said, got from Joanne's Fabric. And um, it's actually, like I said, a spandex material. It's very stretchy, so it's easy to apply when you're putting it on your seat here. But the good thing about this is it has two sides. This is a nice, smooth, kind of like a slicky side. And you can see from far, it has a, a shine to it, you know, a little sheen. So it does kind of resemble um, the vinyl material. But it's not on the opposite side this is the side that i use um it has this more um i guess i want to say sticky material but it's not really sticky um what it is is in one direction um it actually you it actually you get stuck to it if you go back in, in one direction and um that's the direction i put it in so that when i'm riding and i give it gas or i nail it i don't come sliding back it's actually you can actually hear it you get stuck to it on this side and i thought that was very unique so not only is it breathable but it also helps plant your ass on the seat and keep it there uh, when you're gunning it the other thing i did to this seat was um and since this, this material is so you know sheen um you know you can see through it and i'm gonna go ahead and fix that in in this uh in this tutorial here um what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna paint the foam underneath so you can't see it so it's all i'm gonna paint it black and as you can see, this one this one wore out, and I think I've had this on here for about a year and a half now, and the material actually wore out now. So I got a hole there, and it's starting to wear away here. Um, inside here, the other th problem I was having is, fuck, my balls are big. Okay, I got tired of my balls being scrunched up on the seat right here. And you know when I ride, and um, I was actually getting off the bike. You know my balls are hurting and whatnot, and from being all scrunched up. So what I did, and what my friend had showed me, was we cut out a section right here and um, put a different type of material, a softer material. So it actually, it's got like a little indentation here because, you know, I cut away some of the foam in here so that I could, you know, I can have some give here in the crotch area. And uh, man, riding with things like this is a dream. Um, let me tell you, uh, no more achy balls, you know. My ass is planted to the seat. I'm not sliding nowhere. And since it's breathable, all the air is traveling through here underneath your crotch and underneath your ass and no more sweaty balls. Yeah, great, great material. So on the back side, this is, and this is how easy it is. I just took my standard uh, stapler and I got a port cable stapler. I bought this when I was doing uh, custom, uh, uh, custom boxes and whatnot and had to wrap them in vinyl and stuff. And you just go ahead and staple them in here. So this project, for this project, you're gonna wanna take yourself down to Joanne's Fabric, pick up a yard of this material. And you know, if you're doing it every year, I mean, that's still a great way to do it. Um, you know, whatever material you like, but this is the route that I took. You're gonna need some, uh, some uh, staples. And this is what I got here for my, my nailer, 22 gauge, uh, half inch, I'm sorry, 22 inches, half gauge. So you're gonna need some of that and a pair of scissors. And of course, um, I guess if you had a manual uh, stapler, I mean, it might work just as well, but it might, you know, might take some time with that, trying to get through this plastic's a little t tough. But at any rate, I pick myself up one of these. It comes in handy. I do a lot of things with this thing. And um, so, yeah, so let's get started. Um, 
as you can see, I also cut away in the bottom piece of my seat right here so I can have that give. You know, that's that was a major portion. I needed that give because, man, I'm telling you, my balls were sore. Um, I do a lot of riding during the week, you know, I'm easily over easily over 500 miles during the week. And um, so, yeah, I wanted that comfort. But um, some of you might not like this and it's not for everybody. But like I said, I love it. It's great for long distance riding and it works. So let me go ahead and get to it. I'm going to rip off this material quick, show you what's underneath and what I did. Push and pause. All right, YouTubers, I'm back here. I went ahead and removed the material. And this is what I got going on underneath. Now, like I said, this might not be for you and some of you might not want to be that adventurous. But uh, I went this route and I absolutely love it. As I was telling you before, I cut out a, I cut out the foam right here. To, and th I mean, this is some, the foam is soft, but it's not soft enough, especially when you come into contact it's something so gentle as your nuts and your ass um, you hit a good bump and whatnot and um, yeah you get nut chucked by the seat so uh, to help eliminate that and to help keep my ass planted on here like I said I went ahead and cut it cut it down about a maybe I think it's an eighth of an inch here is what this foam is and um, I kind of separated it for you here so you can see it's not nothing special but there is there is some depth in there and um, along with the cutaway on the bottom going to be able to see that it, it gives when you hit when your ass comes planting down and um, you know normally you would come in contact you know it come down and you'd hit the, um, the plastic here and um, this way you get a little more flex and your ass when you sit down your body weight kind of makes you sit sink down into the seat and it gives you this lip so that when you slide back as you're giving a gas um, you actually get caught on this lip right here or this indentation so this is just your standard foam like again I picked this up at Joann's and, um, one thing I have to mention is that since the material is not water resistant this is not something you want to do if your bike stays outside um, in the rain or something like that um, it's a it's meant only for you know um, mostly for summertime uh, I guess you know but um, here in Kelly it, it's like summer all the time rains very few very few days. Um, I have my bike outside. It is covered, and um, you know I got a bike cover for it. So this is not always exposed to the elements. Besides, you know, like uh, constant beating of the sun or any rain. When it does rain, it dries out really quick. It's a very thin material. Um, it dries out fast. But the only problem is um, that if your seat gets wet, so does your foam. Okay. So um, foam's still in pretty good condition. I've this is what my third time wrapping this. And um, I've had it. Ever, I've done it ever since I first had the bike because that was one of the first issues that I had, you know, coming home with my nuts aching and uh, my ass wet. So um, the foam is gonna, you know, tend to dry out, but nothing to where it's gonna start falling apart. I've had this on here for what, like six years now, and uh, yeah, so foam is still in pretty good shape. So for those of you worried about, you know, the foam disintegrating, yeah, it does get a little brittle, and I've had a crack here for the longest time, forever. Um, but um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it right now as you can see and this is what it looks like on the back side i try i don't have to really remove most of the staples not you know um it's like i said you're not gonna see the bottom part you know it's uh, the top part is what you're mostly concerned about and um no one's ever gonna look at the bottom part besides you so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this and i'm gonna use my um pneumatic uh stapler to do this now like I said you probably could do it with a manual one I don't suggest it but um, yeah if you got one a pneumatic it's the greatest thing in the world so pushing pause I'll get back to you in a bit all right there you go youtubers and fellow riders just finished stapling up the seat see how good that looks now you know this material is so forgiving that it, it doesn't really matter if you're not even an expert or beginner you know or intermediate this material stretches so well that you cannot go wrong when you're putting it on there. I mean, I've seen some people ride around on their bikes with straight duct tape on their seat. And that is just ridiculous because, I mean, something like this is so simple. But um, maybe they don't know. You know, maybe they're not willing to take that challenge. But, you know, at any rate, it, this, what is uh, $13 worth of material? And, you know, if you got a brad nailer, I mean, I mean, well, not a brad nailer, a stapler, then, you know, give it a whirl. You know, this... They think this cost me what 80 maybe 70 bucks i don't know and i've done this seat like i said about three times already um remember i i took off my original oem uh <clears throat> marine material off my seat because i just wasn't satisfied with it you know to me this is this is the way to go um 
comfort you know it, it might not have the durability as the marine material but you know for each his own but you know the seat looks hella good you know you can't go wrong and it lasts typically about about a year maybe a year and a half of riding uh what what happens is it's because in this direction like i said it, it gives you traction on your seat that it eventually starts to wear and um and thin out um and then that's when you start seeing the material underneath now i would i would spray you know spray, spray paint on there black spray paint so that you couldn't see it as it wore but not a big deal because i can always keep wrapping it and i'm plus i'm afraid that the the uh, chemicals in the spray paint would mess up the foam and and not you know just eat through it so i'm gonna go ahead and uh slice this up cut away the material uh, another thing i want to mention is if you are doing this you're going to want to make sure you try and staple in a, in a straight line because when you cut away this material you you know you want to have you don't want to have many gaps in here it's, you know is what i'm saying is so that it keeps it um taut on here and you don't get like gaps where it becomes loose and stuff so try to get your staples as close as possible i mean not too close but close enough so that you don't when you cut with your razor blade around this area because I'm going to cut off all this excess and um, so that you have a guide to go all the way through so um, yeah just something something I recommend doing um, again um, over time this is going to get a little loose and like I said you can all you got to do if you got your pneumatic you can go ahead and just pull it down a little bit put another staple in there and there you go but a quick DUI a DIY there for you and let me push pause I'm going to cut it up and I'll put it on the bike so you can see how it looks and there you have it Nice little reupholstered seat. Good for another 16,000 miles. <laughs> but uh, like I said, don't be afraid to get up in there and do it on your own, man. Um, love the way it looks. It's got a nice shiny sheen to it, you know. Um, you saw what it looked like before. So, um, yeah. As always, guys, see you next problem.